What's up my single chats and toxic gamers? How we all doing? So we got another drama between doctor, 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 this, 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 respect, 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 with Tim the Tatman, Nick Merckx, Face Swag, Optic Scump as well. This is like part 3 billion of leave the kids alone. Like the video if you're with leave the kids alone, dislike the video if you're not. Subscribe if you're brand new, helps out a ton, helps the show alive, me. And check this out, I mean, damn. Hello, welcome back to the channel. A while back, we talked about Call of Duty ending their collaboration with creators and streamers to have skin bundles in the game. Unfortunately, part of this being the fallout of the Nick Merckx controversy after the Call of Duty drama, if you guys somehow forgot about that. Or yeah. after some comments made on- Man, it was a year ago. That's like dinosaur time in the internet world, right? Social media, Call of Duty and Activision eventually pulled Nick Merckx skin and bundle off the store. And Crazy, eventually, man. Tim the Tap man, Dr. Disrespect, they responded. Everybody, We've talked yeah. about it time and time again on this channel. But even people afterwards, like Scump and FaZe Swag, Wait for it. spoke up afterwards because apparently, because of that fallout, Activision, you know, seemingly taking back the Nick Merck skin, Tim the Tapman re requesting his was removed. Well, that they were stepping away from creator skins for the future which I think was a, a very dumb decision to make. A yeah, very and instead of that, they yeah, they still got Nicki Minaj Burna in the game, though. You know what I mean? Like, that that's perfectly fine, because that's strong, that's independent. I mean, that's not problematic, which is crazy to a think about. fortunate well, decision crap. that they have made, but I thought it was a very stupid one to have to make. I don't really know what the plan is now. Yeah, even he got shot down, right? Damn. So I hope they give you an operator skin one day. I was supposed to get one. Damn! Until, oh, shit. uh, oh, shit. some shit happened. Yo, Yee. Tucker. No way, Sean, thank you. Yo, real quick, context for two people that don't know, right? So, a year ago, when the entire, like, LGTV stuff was happening in schools, uh, parents were protesting that, hey, our eight-year-old kids don't need to be taught the LGTV stuff in school. And I mean, like, damn, right? Like, kids are being taught that bull squash in school so there was like massive protest happening all right like there was some massive headlines uh, and a lot of people were talking about it outside of video games right then nick Merckx jumps in and he says i leave the kids alone that made it so activision like removes his skin they shoot him down metaphorically speaking they remove his skin they also remove dr disrespect skin tim the tat i mean dr disrespect never had the skin but uh or maybe he did not nah, he never had the skin tim the tatman did uh and everybody kind of went crazy right it made national headlines this story like blew up like literally this blew up in gaming outside of gaming this blew up made national headlines okay obviously it did not make international headlines because like this kind of crap doesn't necessarily happen in other parts of the world it's basically kind of like the the the, the west kind of situation here right Bruh. yeah teach the kids uh, about that bull squash uh, when they're eight year old right so a lot of people were like hey man leave the kids alone Activision probably wasn't and in they, they ended up having that Nicki Minaj Burna in the game they had that BBC bundle that friendly but they ended up removing Tim the Tatman Nick Merrick's uh, skin and then fast forward later Face Swag comes out right he talks about it he says that yeah my skin was gonna be in the game but uh, you know I guess it wasn't meant to be right like it wasn't meant to be and his skin gets removed or he was never given the skin but he was uh, about to eventually was gonna and now we're figuring out that Scump was also so that's kind of like the story right now though Defect, yeah. Lex, thank you mute thank you wait for it we got another Infamous, clip after. thank you ty thank you appreciate it swag as well and then nick Merckx, right yeah wait y'all didn't know that we talked about it in the podcast i guess if you don't watch the podcast you probably wouldn't know but yeah i, I was supposed to i was supposed to get a i was supposed to get an operator uh this year damn and i'm sure a lot of people are coming to this video you know thinking that i am you know, have some sort of anger towards anybody. I don't have any, I don't blame, you know, anyone specifically in this situation, um, point the finger at anybody or have any ill will towards people. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I always say in my head, or I always believe that, you know, damn, if it was meant to be, it would have happened. Yeah, you know, amen, if it ever happened in the future again, that'd be awesome, but. Yeah, he's keeping his options uh, open, you know what I mean? Like, he don't want to go too hard at Activision, so they never uh, make him into, like, a character skin in, act in Call of Duty. Okay, I mean, that's you. Some things are meant for you and some things are not. And that was one of those things that just... It just wasn't meant to be, you know? Man, that's crazy, right? Like, Nick didn't even say anything too crazy, and he got his new response right now that we're gonna check out. He even didn't even say anything too wild. 
But actors and they're like, okay, let's make it political, right? Let's actually, you know, cancel the man. And they did. They tried. I mean, they, they canceled the guy. They removed his skin. They, the craziest thing here is this, that they invited Nick Merckx in the studio, right? They scanned his face. They scanned his body. They scanned his B, BWC or BLC. I'm not sure what he got down there. Surely it's not a BBC. But like, bro, that the amount of disrespect that he had to suffer, crazy. Like, imagine they... Scan your schlong down there, right? So they can put you in the game and they do They know the size they put you in the game and then later on they're like, okay, let, let's let's uh, let's remove it Like Bruh. damn like damn Activision they probably have files st saved in their computer of, of Nick Merckx right now And like I said, I don't blame maybe uh, people... also probably swag as well because he was supposed to get the skin right like, in the comments think I'm, I, I had this like grudge against Nick or Tim for getting mine taken away, and I don't. I, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, I understand it's a business. At the end of and so months after the fact, that Wait being last it? June, we now have Nick Merckx in a Call of Duty rant. We'll probably be posting the full thing here on this channel just so you guys can, uh -huh. for yourself, uh -huh. dissect him answering all the questions that his audience had for him, where he finally answered about, oh, people were upset that he was the reason that creator skins or Activision was moving away from Damn. those said creator skins, to which he said he had nothing to do with that. That yeah. was Activision's yeah. decision. The only reason we are pissed is you had a chance to save creator skins and your ego got in the way. It's not an ego. If you want to call it that, you can. I'm not apologizing for saying something that I believe. Bro, like saying leave the kids alone, that's not ego though. Like, come on, man. That's integrity. Like, man is standing his ground. Man is standing for what's right. Uh, like the video if uh, you agree with leave the kids alone and you stand. I mean, listen, you don't have to like Nick. I don't even watch Nick uh, streams, but what's real is real. What's right is right. What's good is good. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not even ego. It's like integrity, though. It's like morals, you know? Leave him. So... That's not ego. That's that, that that's called you. Damn, you, son. You you feel some way about something, you believe a certain way, and you yeah. can stand up for the shit that you believe in. Yeah. That the, ego is not that. That's that's me believing in the shit that I feel. Okay. Now I understand. Again, ego I, is something like uh, in an easy example, right? Like uh, if you got you got a car. It's a beautiful car, expensive car, and I don't have a car, so therefore you're gonna act a little bit like, you know what I mean, look at me, right? Look at me, I'm the man out here, you know what I mean? Uh, that's that's ego, though. Like, saying leave the kids alone, that's not ego. It's kind of wild. I'll address it real quick. I understand that that may have hurt other creators from getting their own skins. That's a shame. However, Dang. that's Activision's fucking problem, and that's Activision's fucking decision. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Yeah, truly, though. Like, if Activision really wanted, they didn't even have to remove... Uh, okay, yeah, Tim the Tatman surely asked for his skin to be removed. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, you remove Tim the Tatman afterward. Get it. You remove Nick Merck. All right, whatever right but the fact that swag scomp and other youtubers uh, that were in the studio they scan their bbc's bwc's blc's whatever whatever i don't even want to know i don't want to know okay you scan their schlongs down there you scan their faces their entire body okay and you told them that you're gonna put them in the game and then you don't and you use uh, nick Merckx as an excuse right like that's that's kind of wild though me okay nothing to do with me it, 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 look, if you want to make it about that, you can. But yeah. that, that's got nothing to do with me. Damn. So anyway, uh, anything else, bro, that you guys want to get off your chest? Yeah, like, if to be honest, though, like, if that's, like, really how they are playing the game, they could also remove that Nicki Minaj Burna from the game, too. But obviously, Nicki Minaj Burna is, like, kind of strong, right? <laughs> they they want to have that. They want to have that because they got to sell it to the kids. They got to sell those uh, <laughs> BBC bundles. They got to sell those $20, $30 bundles. Okay, bro. Anything. Because, look, I, I'm down to have it. this transparent conversation. Go ahead. Call it as you see it, man. Call it as you see it. Damn. Damn. And I know that I owe a little bit of this to you guys as well. So, so yeah, it's kind of what we're doing. And I think people are going to feel two ways on this, as we do on every single issue. One side goes one way, other side goes the other way. But it really comes down to what your own personal beliefs are on this matter. Leave the kids alone. Simple as that, dog. Like, that shouldn't even be a political thing, though. That should be, like, decent morals. 
Like that should just should be decency. Like decency when a, a kid is like eight years old. Like dog, just leave him alone. Let him learn his ABCDs, one, two, threes in school, right? Let him play with toys. Let him just play in sand. Let me, let him go in the park somewhere. Let him run around, play with his friends. Let him make friends. Let him be social with other uh, eight year old kids and friends, right? Like damn, what are we what are we talking about here? Damn it. Yes, you could maybe say okay because of Nick Merck's public actions. That, that is the reason why Call of Duty went away from Call of Duty creator skins. I think the easy flip side of that is, okay, I don't think anyone would have assumed that because of those remarks made on Twitter that they would have blown up the way they did. I mean, they made national news. Like, yeah, yeah maybe they crazy, would have caught some man. traction, but I don't think many people when they first saw that tweet were like, you know what? This is going to end up with Activision and Call of Duty not only pulling his skin, but removing all other creator skins, creators and streamers who, by the way, have nothing to do with Nick. Yeah. Yeah. So I do kind of lean towards that side of I don't totally blame Nick Merckx for what Activision is choosing to do going forward, especially given okay, the- Okay, Ultra Rare W for uh, Jake Lucky. Looks like he'd be cutting down on some Bud Light, man. Damn, homie. The fact of all of the other celebrities and people with like controversial lyrics or past stuff. Yeah, he, he talking about Nicki Minaj. I mean, just say it, bro. You talking about Nicki Minaj Bruna being put in the game. Yeah, exactly, brother. They have done, you know, rappers and artists that they still get their skins in Call of Duty without any issues. And who knows what they might say as celebrities, rappers, artists in their future. And, and listen, man, I'm, I'm going to say this. Okay, Nicki Minaj is in the game. The game is 18 plus. That's perfectly fine. The problem is not that uh, they should remove Nicki Minaj or put it in the game. The problem is that these suckers <laughs> removed uh, Tim, uh, Tim skin, obviously Tim ass, but you know they removed Nick skin just because he said that leave the kids alone, right? Like that's crazy. And they're not letting any other YouTuber have skin right now. They're probably gonna, I guess, later on in the future now that Xbox is the leadership, but you never know right I, I believe that activision still is operating in like a solo way but they got a bigger daddy right now you know activision is the daddy of infinity tar treyarch sledgehammer my balls and now they got a granddaddy which is microsoft if that that kind of makes sense but call of duty is totally fine partnering up with them but then you have creators like nick Merckx cause a yeah. big viral scandal uh, i'm gonna refer to it as a scandal that's what it was okay no matter what side you fall on it as okay bro like now bro i'm taking that <laughs> I'm taking that W away from you, man. I'm taking that you say you keep on taking these L's, bro. <laughs> And all of a sudden, they're done with all creators and streamers. And I, I never really agreed with that to begin with. And this uh -huh. was Nick Merck's uh -huh. response to all of that. Him saying he's got nothing to do with Activision choosing Dang. to no longer have creator and streamer skins. And yeah. ultimately, yeah, that is Activision's choice. And it's a suck. And guys, recently, this just happened. We had a ton of streamers getting caught cheating. And some of them are actually banned streamers. But they found a way... To play Call of Duty again though. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Check this video out man. It's gonna open up your third eye and I will see you right there.